In verband met de ICT Week zijn op vrijdag 20 september workshops gehouden voor verschillende mensen met een beperking. Hiermee is deze doelgroep in de gelegenheid gesteld om kennis te maken met de nieuwste ontwikkelingen op ICT-gebied. Het gaat om apps en programma's die de toegang tot ICT makkelijker maken voor deze groep. Oh, no, no. Well, we very much believe in inclusivity. Um, as you know, there's a UN convention on the rights of people with disability. And it's very important that we all ensure that they have equal rights. So the CTU very much believes in that. And so we have included these workshops in our ICT weeks that we take throughout the Caribbean. You know, what we do is that we actually try to demonstrate the power of technology to help make their lives easier, to make them more independent and to make sure that they understand that there's, they sh can't let their disability hold them back. And what happens is technology is getting more and more powerful and if you think it can help you as a person who is, uh, let's say, able-bodied, so we think, For someone who is deaf or someone who's blind or someone who's physically disabled, technology really, really helps tremendously. Let's say you go to school, you have handouts from, let's say, university. Um, you get a mail and you, you, know, you, you want to be private about it, so you, you, you want to be able to read it yourself. So you have different options that can be used again. Yeah, right, Facebook, one minute. Productivity phone. Productivity phone. Sounds. iPhone 1. Trade. Compare. Boy. Translate. Android. Samsung. And Google. Announce. CNAI. Double tap to. Have you, about, have you all ever heard about CNAI? Menu. Button. CNAI. Button. Button. CNAI. It's a Microsoft. It's from Microsoft. And it's. It's a AI, artificial intelligence software that can be used to recognize um, images, text, um, read text, colors, etc. So who want to be a volunteer? I can recognize a person. Phone, phone, iPhone. Sorry, it's for iPhone. Yes, for yes, for iPhone. C N A I. C N A I. And that's where I think companies and the government has to come into play because as I say, I think I'm sure Suriname has signed on to this UN convention and therefore the government has committed to providing certain things. But obviously the government can't do it all, so you have organizations like the Telecommunications Authority here, you have private sector companies like Fernandez who are supporting us in the Caribbean Futurescape, who has to sort of step up and try and help uh, people because yes, some of this technology is not cheap. Well, we just want them to understand not to let the disability hold them back. They are people like everybody else, and basically the sky should be the limit, and technology can help them to, to reach their full potential, to be independent, you know, successful, and fully contributing members of society. <laughs>